Eric Francis, when he was talking about the Kachuk situation, he was looking at Austin Matthews. And in general, he was looking at American players and potentially leaving Canadian teams. So he goes on Tim and Friends, talks about it, and goes, Leaf fans should look out for Matthews next year. So I'll just read off this. It's also a warning for Leaf fans who may very likely be dealing with a similar separation involving Austin Matthews next summer when the team will try extending him before his no-moving clause kicks in for the final year of his contract. Goudreau, Kachuk, and Matthews are American-born superstars whose move to Canada was made by virtue of the draft. By all accounts, the three have cherished their experiences while flourishing in their adopted hometowns. But when the choice is theirs, who can blame them for choosing to return stateside? It's one of those things, yeah, it's the tax conversation, all that. Frank Saravelli did come out and have the conversation saying he thinks Austin Matthews will be a leaf for life. Uh, and then the conversation goes back to Adam Fox did it to the Flames, then did it to the Hurricanes, went to the Rangers. Like Adam Fox was like, that was direct. He had no intention of playing for any other team. That was more so just he wanted to play for the Rangers. But I think it is interesting. <laughs> I mean, that would be the most devastating situation ever. I mean, Kachuk is an unreal player, but he's no Austin Matthews. Like Matthews is the top of generational. Um, yeah, once in a lifetime for a team in, in a lot of regards. So I think it would be nuts. I, I honestly, I'm... I'm looking on the Frank Saravelli side of things and, and probably having more connects than Eric Francis with no disrespect. But I think that's kind of, a, I don't want to say a stereotype, but kind of a narrative that's just being produced right now because of recency bias, because of the Goudreau and Kachuk situation and both of them being Americans. Uh, we've seen a lot of Americans sign with Canadian teams. I mean, it's kind of ironic that a, a Canadian team like the Flames just brought in an American player like Blake Coleman. Again, not a superstar like these guys were listing. Uh, but, I mean, Matthews, I would say the teams that are being talked about right now with Matthews, if it wasn't to go home with Arizona, would be teams like that out west. So like a Vegas, a San Jose, an LA, an Anaheim. So those would be the kind of teams that Matthews would potentially be looking at apparently. Uh, I don't think he would go in division. I just don't think he would do that. So like maybe he would love one of the Florida teams. I, I mean, would he go to like a team like Dallas? But I just think he would go out West somewhere if it was his choice by trade or free agency. Uh, but for the Leafs, you can't let that happen. I mean, I think how I feel about the situation, I think it's different than Goudreau and Kachuk just more so because um, Goudreau signed a few contracts. Like Matthews only signed he, like outside of his entry level. Then he... Uh, signed his sizable deal now um, it'd be hard to see Matthews at the age he is like I I just think Matthews is the guy in Toronto I, I think Kachuk and Goudreau Goudreau had always been the guy then Kachuk was getting there I don't know I, I think Matthews likes the attention likes the spotlight um, so I think he would have that's why I think if not for Arizona going home, like LA gives me that vibes on Matthews. Like Matthews going to Cali, going to LA, being in the LA scene. I guess in a hypothetical sense, I could see some crazy scenario like that. But I just, I don't know, man. Matthews, good buds with Bieber. Like the connections he has in Toronto now, uh, the franchise all around him. I, I think it would be really insane to see something like that. But it's hard to say. I think we've seen it now with the Flames with a couple players. Uh, Eric Francis threw it out on Tim and Fred's and a lot of people were freaking out. Then Frank Saravelli, as I said, followed it up by saying he thinks Matthews will be a leaf for life. Brian Burke, uh, a few years ago, uh, near like the start of Matthews' career with Toronto, said that he believes Matthews, when he gets closer to UFA status, will leave Toronto. So there's been some people saying Matthews will leave. There's other people that are saying he's confident that Matthews will be a leave for life or at least will sign one more major contract. I mean, Patty Line just signed with Columbus for four years. I could see Matthews doing something like that. I could see Matthews signing like a three or four year deal. Uh, something crazy like, I don't know, 13, 14 million, like something nuts. He'll, he'll probably sign something like that. He won't want to do it crazy. Too, like, because that was the conversation like Matthews will wait till the cap goes up. And I think the cap will go up in what, 2025, potentially 2026. So he'll sign that three or four year deal. I think Matthews will uh, potentially with the Leafs. And then after that, you know what? If the Leafs don't do anything after that, maybe he leaves going into his thirties. I could see a scenario like that for Matthews, but uh, coming up, I don't know. So that's what I'm saying. Just to wrap up the video, Dubis, the Leafs can't let it happen. Uh, and if it becomes a Matthew Kachuk situation, 
a Matthews trade would just blow up. Like, talk about things blowing up right now. I don't know. So we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, but Austin Matthews and that has been a conversation with these recent Americans leaving Canadian teams.